So here I'll go ahead and add a little bit of styles to this page. This is going to be HTML5, and I've broken this up uh, by using the semantic tags of header, uh, section, article. I don't have an aside or a nav tag yet, but those can very well be put in there. Down at the bottom, I have a footer tag right here. Okay. Each of these articles, I should note, could very well have IDs. Now, I've added an ID to some of these. So like, let's say maybe I want to reference my style sheets and I want to have a um, different style for various articles. So one way you could do that is to give an ID or a class and then give it a unique name. So in this case, with an ID. And uh, sometimes people think that you shouldn't be using ID with HTML5. I think it just all depends what you're doing. If you need to specify the look of an area, or if you're using, for example, uh, jQuery or, or JavaScript, and you need to reference a specific article, a specific um, HTML area, then ID or class um, will often be very appropriate to use to separate that out. Okay, um, back up here, I'm going to go ahead and show this style. Now, you want to use inline style sheets very sparingly. This is an example of using an inline style sheet. Uh, typically, what you want to do is use an external style sheet or have a style up in the head of your document. So within the head of my document, I could have an opening and closing style and then put the styles up here to reference the various areas. And I'll show that pretty soon. So in order to use an inline style, you're going to use the style attribute. So it's just the style, and that's just the same as if you're using, you know, a line attribute. Um, uh, maybe in HTML4, you, you would have used a line attribute. Um, uh, other attributes uh, such as source and so forth. So this is just another one of these attributes. So style equals, and then opening closing quote. Now within there, we're going to put our actual uh, style content. If you have IntelliSense, um, then that will help a lot. Uh, otherwise, you'll probably want to have a book or a website open so you can uh, reference and learn the various types of tags. One tag is going to be color. And so I can just type the word color. And the way that the properties work, the CSS properties, is you just have that property name. You have to, unfortunately, memorize all these. Um, there's not a terribly logical method behind these names. Then you have a colon. And on the other side of the colon, you have that value. So I can give it uh, a hexadecimal value, or there's um, at least 16 colors that you can just use by referencing the name. I'll go ahead and reference the name. I'll go ahead and just call it. I, I used red before just to show you that we can change the color. I'll do purple here. All right. So again, your property and then that value. And you always want to end it with a semicolon. Notice that this whole attribute is in quotes. So that's the attribute value right there. Okay. So now if I save up my file and then I go look at this, Depending on the browser you're on, you may not even be able to tell much of a difference uh, between this and the black, but this actually comes out as purple right here. Okay, another one. Let's go ahead and add one more here. You can actually add multiple properties. So in our style, um, in our style attribute, I'm going to add one more properties. So let's say I want to center this. So rather than use a line center, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use text align. That's just the CSS property. And I'll say center. I save it up. And now it should all center. Let me double check and make sure that I have that correctly because Dreamweaver is choosing not to show it quite right. Let me look at it in Firefox and make sure that it's working. And it actually is all centered and purple text. So. That's what we'd want to use rather than using um, a line attribute. Let me just do one more. I come down here, and in this article, this is just going to do everything within this particular article. So I'll go ahead and do style. Style is my attribute equals 
quote, quote. So now that uh, only one equals. So now the information will go within the opening closing quote. Let's say that I want to um, add a color again. Well, let's say a size. Let's say um, font size. And I'll come on down and um, make it be 18 pixels. So it'll be a little large, but just to show you that you can do it. Okay, so now again, I'll go refresh this in my browser and we'll see how that looks. So objective.